Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One. And how can you amplify your national media plan with network radio? It is getting harder and harder to build national media plans with sufficient levels of reach. One of the key reasons is the alarming cliff drop in cable TV penetration. So many media plans need cable TV for all of the impressions and the reach it can generate on a national level. But the news has not been good in the world of pay TV penetration. Moffat Nathanson, one of the leading Wall Street media analysts, each quarter publishes their pay TV cord cutting monitor. The most recent report had a very gloomy headline, can linear be saved? The report indicated the rate of decline of pay TV and their words accelerated to near all time worsts. Taken together the de decline of cable and satellite have left penetration of pay TV as a percentage of occupied households at 40 eight percent that's the lowest level in 35 years moffat nathanson observes that among traditional cable operators video is increasingly viewed as a lost cause there's a growing sense among cable operators the report says that wireless is now strategically more critical to their future than video so what is a marketer to do when you look at a chart like this? This is quarterly pay TV subscription trends going back to 2015. From 2015, 2016, quarterly losses were in the 2 to 3% range that started accelerating in 2017 and 18 with 5 and 6% quarterly erosion. 2020 saw 8% quarterly pay TV subscriber drops. And the very latest report showed an astonishing 10% quarterly reduction in pay TV penetration. If you look at the 22 year history of cable and cable TV subscription levels, back in the year 2000, cable was still growing. It was at 78% of American households. It hit its peak at 2009, when nearly 90% of American households had cable. It then started a slow drop. By 2016, cable penetration has sunk to 80% of American households. But look at that right-hand side of the chart. The last six years have seen a precipitous drop in pay TV subscription levels. The current point in time, 48%, a massive drop. So half of American households are not seeing your network cable ads. This is an unprecedented erosion with no end in sight. So what is a national marketer to do? How do you replace that lost reach from TV in your media plan? Well, a couple of options. You can increase the allocation to digital and social. You can also look at allocating more uh, via connected TV. So let's look at the scenario of increasing the share of the media plan going to uh, digital and social. So here's a scenario, an 80-20 mix, 80% linear TV, 20% digital and social, about one third of Americans are reached. So via Nielsen Media Impact, the optimization and planning platform, we increase the digital and social allocation from 20% to 30%, what happens to the reach? Well, unfortunately, it actually goes backwards. So not a opportunity to increase reach by adding more digital and social. Well, let's take a look at connected TV. On the left, an actual national media plan from a linear TV advertiser who spent about $7.9 million in the month, generated a reach of about 48%. You reallocate 20% of their linear TV investment over to connected TV, and you get a nice but modest uptick in reach from 48% to 54% for the same budget. Now, one of the challenges of connected TV are the pricey CPMs. So the 
typical linear TV CPM range of ten dollars or so. YouTube running about twenty dollars, but linear, but connected TV that can be thirty five up to sixty five dollars. So it eats up a lot of your budget to get that pretty expensive lift in incremental reach. Now here is a surprising alternative. Amplifying your media plan with network radio. Here are four monthly investment levels in network radio, anywhere from 200 to 500 monthly GRPs. 200 is seen as the minimum investment, 300 the maintenance, the high impact at 400 GRPs, and then 500 GRPs of network radio for a launch or major push. The reaches are impressive, anywhere from 46% of Americans to 59%. And the monthly investment levels anywhere from a million to two and a half million dollars in comparison to other national media platforms. These are uh, affordable options. However, they punch above their weight. Network radio investments generate stronger reach versus TV and digital. Take a look. This is from Nielsen comms point to the left of your screen, a one million dollar investment in network radio reaching 38% um, of American 25, 54 year olds, the same million dollars in TV and digital only reaching 17%. So you can see as you increase the investment level up to $5 million, that investment in network radio is reaching far more Americans than the same investment uh, in TV and digital. So let's take a look at seven budget scenarios for a typical week in a national media plan ranging from a very, very light half a million dollar weekly campaign all the way to a very aggressive $10 million weekly uh, national investment. So the first line left to right represents a mix of linear TV and digital and the 2554 reach that would be generated by that investment. The line underneath that represents a 20% reallocation of the linear TV digital budget to network radio. So we're holding the budget the same, but you can see an impressive increase in reach for the same investment. And interestingly, this reach increase is actually quite extraordinary, even for very small budgets. Take a look at the very light half a million dollar weekly national investment on uh, linear TV and digital, that gets you about a 9% uh, reach of 25, 54-year-olds. Reallocating 20% to network radio, the reach doubles from 9 to 19%. You take a $2 million weekly national investment in linear TV and digital, you get about a 27 reach. You reallocate 20% of that to network radio, holding the budget the same. The reach now surges to 43%, which is a 59% increase in reach. And lastly, a more substantial weekly uh, linear TV and digital plan of $6 million reaches about half of American 2554s. But that 20% reallocation to include network radio grows the reach to nearly two thirds of all Americans. So that's a 28% increase. So regardless of budget size, a 20% reallocation to network radio generates really outsized increases in campaign reach. So we are seeing the largest and most significant erosion in the pay TV ecosystem in the history of media. The current uh, pay TV penetration of 48%, uh, we haven't seen these low levels in 35 years. So it means that few people are seeing your network cable ads. Now, finding a way to compensate for the significant loss of TV reach in the media plan is no easy task. As we saw, just share shifting more into digital and social can actually in some cases cause reach to go backwards. Connected TV is an expensive option. It can generate modest levels of incremental reach, but network radio offers extraordinarily affordable but highly impactful 
incremental reach growth. We saw at every investment level, a 20% reallocation of a digital TV plan can generate just spectacular growth in incremental reach. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One is a full service advisory for national marketers. We offer media planning recommendations, creative testing, as well as measurement studies to examine the brand lift, sales lift, or website traffic increase of audio investments. Each week, we publish a new audio case study and insight on our Audio Active blog, which can be found at cumulusmedia.com or westwood1.com and when you're there you can sign up to get the free weekly audio case study delivered right to your email box thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through how network radio can amplify your media plan thanks so much